Hi guys, during this video we're going to be covering the essential conversions between percentages, decimals, and fractions. I'll demonstrate straightforward methods and introduce you to a practical shortcut to simplify these calculations. If you're looking to improve your understanding of these fundamental concepts, please keep watching. Let's take a look at this. Percent. The word percent comes from the Latin percentum, which means out of the 100. So I would like you to think about like per hundred or for every hundred. The word cent in percent is like a century, which means a hundred years, or cents in dollars, which is a hundred cents. The symbol for percent is this one. So instead of writing 15 out of 100, we can write it down 15 and then the percent symbol. So now I'm going to be showing you how to convert a percent into a decimal. Here are the two steps that I would like you to keep in mind. Step number one, you're going to be removing the percent symbol. I'm going to be showing you how to change 61% into a decimal. So step number one, it says remove the percent symbol. So I'm going to act like this symbol isn't here anymore. So let me just write it down, 61. And then step number two, it says move the decimal point two places to the left to create a decimal. And then you might be wondering, but where is the decimal point? Remember that the decimal point on any whole number is right at the end. It's invisible, okay? So I'm going to place my decimal point here, and then I'm going to shift my decimal point two spaces, one and two. And now I have... 0.61. So 61% it's equals to 0.61. So basically, moving the decimal point two places to the left is a shortcut for dividing by a hundred, which is what the percent symbol represents. So I would like you to take a look at this example. As you can see, this one says 12.6%, but there is a bar notation on top, which means that the six keeps repeating and repeating and repeating because this is a repeating decimal. So in this case, we have 12.66666, and you get the idea, right? So now I am going to be shifting my decimal point two spaces to the left, one and two, which means that this is equals to 0 0.12, and you can add this six and the bar notation on top. So it will be 0 0.126 with a bar notation on top. Now, I would like you to pause the video and try to rewrite this percent into a decimal. All right, remember, step number one, you're going to be removing this percent symbol. So I'm just going to be rewriting it down here, seven. Step number two, I'm going to shift the decimal point two spaces to the left. I'm going to place my invisible decimal point, one and two spaces. Don't forget that in those empty spaces, there are invisible zeros going to place a zero here and a zero here. So now you know that 7% is equals to 0 0.07. Well done. Now, I would like you to pause the video and try to convert these percents into decimals. Don't forget, follow the two steps that we already discussed. All right, so let's take a look at this one. This is 56 I'm just going to not write down the percent symbol. Invisible point is right at the end. And I'm going to shift my decimal point two spaces to the left. One and two. There is an invisible zero down here. So now I have 0 
Perfect. And I have this repeating decimal that it will be 6.6. And then this 6 keeps repeating itself. So I'm going to shift my decimal point two spaces to the left. 1 and 2. And on these empty spaces, I have my invisible zeros. So this is equals to 0 0.0666. Six, 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 and I'm going to put the bar notation here, which means this six will be repeating itself. Now that you're a master on this, I would like you to pause the video and try to do this one by yourself. Very good. So let's take a look at this one. I'm going to remove the percent symbol. I'm going to place my decimal point right at the end and shift it two spaces to the left. I'm going to add a zero on these empty spaces. Therefore, 5% is equals to 0 0.05. There you go. 39%, remember, remove the percent symbol. And now you just have 39. Place the invisible decimal point at the end. And I'm going to shift my decimal point two spaces to the left. And now I have 0 0.05. 39. There you go. Easy beasy. Now I'm going to be showing you how to convert a decimal into a percent. Basically, this step is going to be backwards to what we were doing because before we had the percent and we were rewriting it as a decimal. But now we have a decimal number and I want you to rewrite it as a percent. The step number one will be Move the decimal point two places to the right to create a percent. Step number two, add the percent symbol at the end. Easy peasy. So let's see. I'm going to move my decimal point to the right this time. One and two. That means that I have 27 percent. That's it. That's the only thing that you need to do in order for you to rewrite it as a percent. So basically, what is it that we're doing? Moving the decimal point two places to the right when converting a decimal to a percentage is a shortcut for multiplying by a hundred. Okay? So now we'd like you to pause the video and try to rewrite this decimal as a percent. All right, so let's shift or move the decimal point two spaces to the right. One and two. I'll place my invisible zero here. And this will make 50%. That's it. How about this one? 1 1.25 into a percent. Please pause the video and try to do it by yourself. All right, now it's time for you to move the decimal point two places to the right. One and two. So it will be 125%. I would like you to think about this way. If 100% represents all the students in your class, 125% will be all the students in your class plus 25 more students, maybe from another class. Because I know that some of you might be wondering, what? 125%? Does that even exist? Yes, it does. How about this repeating decimal? Please pause the video and try to rewrite it as a percent. All right. As you see this bar notation on top, it means that the number three will be repeating nonstop. Three, 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 and so on. So I'm going to shift my decimal point two spaces to the right. One and two. That will make 33.3. Now put this bar notation on top to represent that these three will be repeating itself. And I will add the percent symbol. 33.3, bar notation on top, percent. Now, please pause the video and try to convert these decimals into percent following the steps that I just showed you. All right, so let's shift the decimal point two spaces to the right. 
one and two. I'll put an invisible zero here, and this just created 70%. Again, two spaces to the right, and this just created 63%. Pause the video and try to convert these other decimals into percents. This one right here is a repeating decimal, so I'm going to repeat the number two all over again, and then I'm going to shift my decimal point two spaces to the right, one and two. This will make a 22.2, and then the bar notation on top right here, and I will add the percent symbol at the end. How about this other decimal? Don't forget, you need to shift the decimal point two spaces to the right. This will make 0 0.7.5% or just 7.5%, which is basically the same, all right? Now, I'm going to be showing you how to convert a fraction into a percent. Here are the steps. First, you're going to be dividing the numerator by the denominator. Then you're going to rewrite your decimal as a percent following the steps that I just showed you before. When you're using your calculator, do not forget in your calculator, the first digit that you need to enter is your numerator. In this case, your numerator is a four. So it'll be four divided by five, which is equals to 0 0.8. But now I am not done. I need to rewrite this decimal as a percent. Don't forget, move the decimal point two spaces to the right. One and two. I'll put my invisible zero here. And now my final answer is 80%. And that's how you rewrite a fraction into a percent. Do not forget, divide the numerator by the denominator, and then you rewrite that decimal into a percent by shifting the decimal point two spaces to the right. Something else that I would like you to remember, that if you're doing the long division, if you're not using the calculator, please, please, please remember that the numerator goes inside the box, inside the division box. In this case, it will be four inside and five outside, all right? Pause the video and try to do this one by yourself. Don't forget, you need to rewrite this fraction as a percent. 7 divided by 10 is equals to 0 0.7. But this cannot be my final answer because I need to have it as a percent. So I'm going to move my decimal point 1 and 2 spaces to the right. And I'll place my invisible zero, which means that this is equals to 70%. That's your final answer. Please pause the video and try to do this one by yourself. 13 divided by 9 is equals to 1.4. But then the 4 will be repeating itself, all right? Which means that there is a 4, 4, 4, 4, 4 repeating itself. So now I need to shift my decimal point. Two spaces to the right. One and two. And now I got 144.4. And this four keeps repeating itself, percent. And that's it. Now we'd like you to try to convert these fractions into percent. 13 divided by 20 is equals to 0 0.65. Now I'm going to shift my decimal point two spaces to the right. And this will be 65%. 
If I divide 65 by 100, I will also get 0 0.65. And again, I need to shift my decimal point to spaces to the right, and this will make 65%. Now, I'm going to be teaching you how to convert a percent into a fraction. Here are the steps. Step number one, I would like you to rewrite your percent as a fraction. Step number two, you just need to simplify whenever is possible. But hear me out. I would like you to think about the percent symbol as your secret code for out of 100. The digits, these digits that are in front of the percent symbol will become your numerator of the fraction. And the denominator will always be 100, okay? Remember, percent per every 100. So in this case, 18% is equals to 18 out of 100. That's how you rewrite a percent into a fraction. Step number two, it says I need to simplify if it's possible. As I can see that both numbers are even numbers, I can divide them and find half of it. Divided by 2, divided by 2. As you already know, 18 divided by 2 is 9, and 100 divided by 2 is 50. In this case, I cannot continue simplifying because, for example, if I divide this one by 9, it will be 1. But if I divide 50 by 9, it will give me a decimal. So, mm -mm, this is my final answer. Now, I would like you to pause the video and try to rewrite this percent into a fraction. Very good. Remember, the digits before the percent symbol will always be your numerator. So it will be 7. And then this percent means out of 100. So I'm going to divide this by 100. And then I need to stop and think. Is it possible for me to simplify this fraction? No. This is its simplest form. I cannot continue simplifying. So this is my final answer. Please pause the video and try to rewrite this percent into a fraction. I hope that you remember that the numbers or the digits before the percent symbol will be your numerator and the percent symbol means out of 100. So in this case, it will be 36 out of 100. As I can see that both of them are even numbers, I need to think about, can I divide them by 2, by 3, by 4? Yes, I can divide it by 4. So 36 divided by 4 is equals to 9. But also, if I divide 100 by 4, I will get 25. This is my final answer. Now, I would like you to pause the video and try to convert these percents into fractions. So, in this case, my numerator is 19. Percent means out of 100. So, it will be 19 out of 100. In this case, if I divide these, I will get a decimal. So, I am not going to simplify. This is its simplest form. Now, I need to think about how about 4 percent the same thing four will be my numerator and then percent means out of a hundred so i'm just going to place a hundred right here and then i take a look and i say huh both of them are even number which means that i can divide them by two and also by four in this case so i'm going to divide by four and divide by four 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 100 divided by 4 is 25. So it's 1 out of 25. This is my final answer. I hope that you were able to understand how to do all these conversions. See you next time.